Good afternoon. Thank you for joining for your daily fitness motivation. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of strength training as well as incorporating some functional fitness, some core training, and some Pilates and mat work. So what I have here is a set of five pound dumbbells as well as a set of eight pound dumbbells. Grab some equipment. You don't need much if you have a Pilates ring. That would be fantastic. We are going to utilize that. You can also use a towel. We are going to need that for a little bit of stretching. And that's all you really need. If you've got a mat, pull it up and we're going to get started. So initially, we're going to warm up our legs. We're going to warm up our core because our legs are the biggest muscle group in our body. Where your core is really butt, this set of muscles is going to really get the body warm and ready to go. So I want you to take a really nice wide stance on your mat. And we're just going to take this into a side lunge. So we're going to take it side to side. And remember, it's really nice and wide. And what I want you to do is get a little bit lower. And you're going to start to sweep your hands along the mat or the floor, if you can, of course. And pause side to side with me. So just a nice side to side. And if you can't touch the floor and that's not comfortable, you can take it to right here. You could also set something in front of you, maybe where you could use a coffee table or a step if you have one. So our next move is we're gonna take it to the floor if you can. You're gonna anchor your hands on the floor and engage into your abdominals and you're gonna lift one leg. And then we're gonna bring it to the other side and lift that other leg. So we're really engaging into that core. And remember, if you're not here, if you're not flexible enough to reach for the floor and you don't have any props that you can use today, then go ahead and just keep it into that side lunge. Get that stretch and engage into your core. So next one I'm going to pause to center and I'm just going to sink into it. I want to drop my shoulders. Nice big stretch. I'm going to press off of my right thigh and I'm going to turn and rotate to that left side and I'm going to come back to center, drop those shoulders, turn and rotate to that opposite side, pressing off that inner thigh. Hopefully getting a nice little adjustment through the spine, which should feel really good. And then back to center this time. Cat stretch, cat back. I want you to draw your belly button into spine, hands lightly on your thighs, and I want you to lift your rib cage up to the ceiling as you drop your head toward the floor. Rounding the spine, and then relax and drop into your seat, pull the shoulders back. Once again, round through that front, cat back stretch. Arch it out, sink into it. Two more times, round into it, give it a deep exhale. And sink, deepen into that breath, exhale, knit those ribs together. And release, and bring it up, walk your feet together. All right, let's start incorporating those weights. So, today I'm gonna show you some techniques that you can incorporate in your weight routine at home. And you can also, if you have a gym membership, you can take these techniques into the gym and utilize them, especially the, um, the concept that we're going to use of uh, core training. So I am going to utilize supersets is the way we're going to arrange our workout today. So I want you to grab those weights, have your lighter set, doesn't matter, stand with your feet about hip distance apart, and I want you to just reach your arms along at your sides, and you're just going to... Lift those weights up, curling it in. Nice and slow, slow and controlled. So what's a superset? A superset means that we are going to be working opposing muscle groups. And what that does is it pulls blood to that area of the body, to those muscles. And essentially what it's going to do is we're going to create more growth and strength in those muscles. So lots of repetition, you guys. All right, so let's add a little squat to this, if you like. So we're gonna pretend like we're sitting back into a chair, and then we're gonna hinge back from the hips, squat it back, bring it in. I'm gonna show you a little side view angle so you can see what I'm talking about. So when I bring it back, what I really wanna do if I have proper form is keep my knees more over my ankles than over my toes, so my weight is into my heels. I'm sitting back into it. You can even take a fitness ball and put that behind you or a chair and tap down to it. I'm getting a little bit tired, so as you get a little bit more fatigued, engage deeper into your abdominals. Press from those heels. Let's get 
give it two more. Curl it in. Your heart rate should be rising. Last one. Whew. All right, very nice work. Set those weights down. So biceps, our opposing muscle group is triceps. Grab your lighter set of weights. And we're gonna take this to the mat. I'm bringing this to an all fours position. We've used this before in our quadruped. So wrist, elbow, shoulder, nice straight line. My knee should be directly under my hip. I'm just gonna take that weight into my hand. I have a five pound weight. Very effective, we don't really need a lot of weight. We're doing a lot of repetition. We're using proper form, we're gonna go nice and slow. So bring that elbow up nice and high, extend to your side, pull it in tight to your side rather, and extend your arm back. Notice, I'm keeping my upper arm completely so. It's isolated. Kick that arm back. Kick it back as high as you can. You're gonna engage that tricep even further. What we're actually doing is pulling in that third head on the tricep. So the tricep muscle, tri, meaning three, has three heads. So it's a little bit challenging to target that third one, not a lot of exercises do. That's why this exercise is fantastic. So give it two more and one now hold. Hold, 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 extend, extend, extend. Give it little pulses. Come on, raise your arm up, give it a little bend to the elbow for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Nice work. We're gonna go to that other side. So notice I'm gonna anchor into my shoulder blade, into my lats. My lower abdominals are engaged here as well. And you're gonna press it back. Now, if you have wrist issues, bring it here. Bring it onto your forearms. So kicking that elbow back, I don't know if you can see from this side, I'm actually gonna turn it around. So you can see I'm extending it to engage deeper into that muscle. All right, so for those of you ladies that typically like to complain about the uh, the arm, the uh, this. I won't even say it because, ladies, if you don't like it, do something about it. This is an exercise to tone that area. And besides, why be negative about our bodies? It is where it is. You're where you're at today. However, this is how we change ourselves. This is motivation to appreciate our bodies that much more and to work a little bit harder and feel good about our achievements. All right, give it two more, extend that arm back. Wow, my triceps are burning. All right, hold it back there. Use your breath, engage into your abdominals and little pulses. Press it back, again, engage into those abdominals. Use your breath, give me four, three more pulses, two more, one more. And bring it in nice. Go ahead and bring it onto your knees here. And let's give those triceps a stretch. So the back of the arm. We're going to reach behind with your hand. And you're going to bring that opposite hand onto your elbow. And just give it a nice stretch. Try to drop your shoulders away from your ears. Good. Release it. And other side. So very important to incorporate a strength training routine. Uh, into, or rather a strength training workout into your routine. Ladies, it's very important. Uh, we want to, as we age, we lose bone density. So we want to maintain our bone mass. And how do we do that? Weight bearing exercise. So on to our next set. Again, we're supersetting. So my next two muscle groups are opposing chest and back. You know my favorite exercise, one of them, happens to be push-ups. So let's take it to push-ups. All right, my hands are nice and wide. I'm actually gonna bring my arms a little bit wider than my mat to really get into that chest because we just work triceps. When your hands are more narrow, it's gonna work a lot more triceps. So I'm gonna bring this to beginner position. I'm gonna walk my knees back, and today I'm just gonna really drop my hips a little bit more. So I'm squeezing into my glutes, and you should see a nice straight line with my body. I'm not gonna arch into my back, but I don't wanna let my butt go back. So I'm gonna squeeze my butt and tuck my hips under just a little bit. 
Arms are wide, I'm gonna bring it down and up. Use your breath as you press back up. All right, now, if you want a little bit more challenge, you're gonna come into that plank, coming onto your toes and bringing it down and up again, slow and controlled. So, body weight exercises, very effective. Utilize these between sets or incorporate it in your routine at home. Give me two more. And one. Good. Drop the knees. Sit back into the heels into a child's pose position. You can rest your forehead down if you like. So chest, back. Grab your heavier set of weights. Go ahead and grab both. I've got eight here. Just to give you an idea, in the gym, I typically might do rows with at least 20s, 25s. So grab your heavier set of weights. All right. So another thing that I wanted to cover today um, is proper form and engaging into those muscles. So I want to do a little demonstration here. Hopefully you can see me. So what I'm going to do is reach my arms away. And I want you to see the difference between dropping the shoulders and engaging into your lats. So right here, I'm just reaching. Right here, I'm gonna engage into my lats. Watch, drawing those shoulder blades down and really tightening into those muscles. Hopefully, that was a good visual for you. So grab the weight, bring it over here. You can bring it into all fours just like we did before, but I'm gonna do this standing and you're engaging into your abdominals. I want you to think about sticking your butt out behind you. We don't want to be tucked here. So, body nice straight line. We're gonna reach for the floor. I'm gonna draw those elbows up nice and high at your side. See if you can keep your head and neck in line with your spine by looking down at the floor and out just a little bit in front of you. Notice, I should be in that nice straight line. Hopefully you can see. So drawing those elbows nice and high at your side. Last week I did a video where we did rows, but we did renegade rows. So I was on the mat with the weights and alternating those rows from a plank or a push-up position. So there was another option for you. So really working into those lats. I'm gonna bring it into more of a flat back position, really utilizing gravity with those weights. Now I've gotta engage deep into my abdominals. Pull those elbows up nice and high at your sides. I'm starting to sweat. Nice and warm. Those muscles are working. Give me three more. Two more. And one. Good. Set them down. Grab your lighter set again. So, posing muscle groups before we go into our stretch. How are we doing on time? Hopefully, you guys are really starting to get that form. Utilize mirrors if you have them. They're a great tool. We have two minutes left. Uh, actually... See if you can set aside just a couple more minutes. I am going to try to take this to about an 18 minute workout today. So we have five more minutes to go. Hang in there with me. Grab that lighter set of weights. All right. So opposing muscle groups. Quads, we've been working our quadriceps, the front of the thighs. We are gonna do one more set, but this time we wanna work the hamstrings, the back of those thighs, we've been working glutes as well as lower abdominals, which are also opposing muscle groups. So we're still in the superset mode. So I want you to take it here. We're gonna engage into those hamstrings. I want you to hang your arms at your sides, just like you did with those rows. And you're just gonna bring it down to the floor as far as you can and back up to hanging. So this would be kind of like a straight leg deadlift. From here, standing up tall, step back with one foot. And I want that back foot, toes to be angled, right? forward and the other is going that other direction so our toes are facing perpendicular direction. So now we're going to bring it down and up. If you can reach the floor, bring it all the way down. Otherwise, bring it halfway down. Take it at your pace and your level. Right, four. Those of you that want to make this a little bit more advanced, Come from that stand, step your feet together, and we're gonna take that back leg behind. So we're parallel to the floor with our body, 
little bit more balance challenge. I'm gonna bring it down and up all the way to the floor if you have that flexibility. But any range in there is where you wanna be working, engaging that hamstring. I'm getting a little fatigued. I can feel myself shaking, working hard on balance. Give it one more. Well, that is if you were doing single leg switch. Otherwise, we've got a few more to go. Hang in there, utilize that core strength. You should be engaging into those abdominals. Might also notice that your balance, if you're joining me for the advanced move, your balance is different on each side. Interestingly enough, even though my right leg is my dominant leg, I'm getting a little bit more fatigued on this side. Perhaps it's because I already worked those hamstrings on that other leg. But the idea being that as we get more fatigued, utilize that core strength, engage deeper into those abdominals to support your spine. So notice maybe one side feels a little bit stronger than the other or one side you have better balance than the other. We're never completely symmetrical. Two more, notice, losing that balance a little bit and that's okay. One more. Hey, if it wasn't challenging or if it was easy, 